Right now, I'm existing in a state that's roughly equivalent to being a small child awaiting Christmas Day. My weekend is all planned, and I'm off to nerd it up and chat with personal heroes such as Richard Horvitz and Will Wheaton. But before I head off, we have the small matter of this week's wrap-up. So, let's get cracking on the Friday News Wrap-Up for the 20th of April, 2012. Nostalgia can be almost criminal in its ability to gloss over the past and make you believe you loved something despite its flaws. But one thing is for sure, North and South was a game that got me hooked on strategy titles. Aside from the occasional battle and side-scrolling platform section, the rest of the game escapes my mind. So I'm glad I'll have an opportunity to refresh my mind when the Blue Coats North and South is released on the 10th of May. Creating a world of your own, along with the tantalizing thrill of exploration, is part of the reason why Minecraft and its ilk have been so successful. Deep World by Bitebin Studios aims to make a multiplayer 2D version of the concept a reality on the iOS platform, and it's looking comprehensive already, even after six months of development. As with so many projects these days, the developers also have a Kickstarter up, so if you're keen on seeing this game happen, feel free to donate via the link below. To continue the saga of Age of Monsters by Massive Joe Studios, the team is preparing to launch what looks like an auto-running platformer where you play as the gauntless human chosen by the gauntlets of power that have the ability to destroy the rampaging beasties. There's more at stake here too as you'll lose a child to the monsters if you happen to fail at your punches. The game is scheduled for a release on the 26th of April. Aside from the game's odd referencing of the My Little Pony series, from its name to the boy's missing toy named Pinky, My Little Hero has very few details we can speculate based on its announcement. What we can say though is that Acne Play, the developers behind Pizza Boy, are heading up the project for NCSoft, and it's possible the game will have an action-adventure vibe, though nothing is solid at this time. All we know is we'll be keeping an eye out for more details. When you think of Crescent Moon Games as a publisher and developer, racing games don't usually cross your mind. RPGs and platformers, sure, but, but then again, given that the company has already started to make its way into releasing shooters, it's no surprise to see them branch out even further. With the help of Snowbolt Interactive, a team that boasts experience with games like Lost Winds and Connectimals, the project is in safe hands, and the idea of flinging a vehicle around corners with the use of grappling hooks sounds too good to pass up. More when details are available. Sean is back once again, but this time he doesn't have his fellow woolly friends in tow. In fact, he's going solo, sprinting at top speed to outrun the pigs to win the fleece lightning competition. Each of the game's 80 levels will only take a few seconds to complete, but getting to the end isn't easy thanks to a host of hazards, not to mention the pigs themselves. Thankfully, the controls are more than up to the task, with touch, swipe and tilt options being available, with the tilt being the best on show thanks to its surprising amount of fidelity. Sadly, the game's repetitious nature makes it hard to play the game in anything but short bursts, but even once you're done, you can spend your time designing your own tracks and testing them on your friends. Much like Shaun the Sheep, Fleece Lightning is aimed squarely at younger audiences, and it's a treat thanks to its distinctly Aardman-esque visuals and casual gameplay. A definite thumbs up if your kids love the TV series. Although there's not a lot to choose from this week, my personal pick of the week has to go to Criterion Games and EA Mobile's Burnout Crash. Mindless as it is, there's a sense of careless abandon to the game that makes it refreshing compared to the strict and skill-heavy titles that try to punch their way onto the App Store. Don't take that for a completely negative outlook on the game though, you'll still need to master the basics before taking on its harder challenges. But you'll be too busy laughing at the mayhem to worry about small details like objectives. A great grab if you want to kill time or blow off some steam. As always, we love to hear back from our viewers, so don't forget to poke us either here on YouTube, Twitter or Facebook. I'm always keeping an eye out for something interesting to respond to. Have a great weekend. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.